guys, Steve Ocho here for another episode of my TARDIS tutorial. Uh, I know a couple episodes ago I was asking for some uh, ideas on some features I could add, and the funny thing is, right after that, I came up with an actually really cool idea for a feature, <laughs> and then I started making it, thought it was a little difficult, and I was like, can I actually do this? And then I finally figured it out, and I was like, <laughs> big brain moment right there. So basically this feature aims to add a bit of, uh, I don't know if you'd say realism, because it's a fictional show, Doctor Who, but uh, realism to the show, um, in that, you know, even, like in the Doctor's travels, the TARDIS itself isn't always safe, there's something happening to it, something could cause it to crash, like, uh, well, it's a ship, it would crash like any other ship if something made it do so. Um, and I have actually already had suggestions for things like that. Um, that is not what I'm doing today. What I'm actually simulating today is that the TARDIS is under attack in the Vortex itself. Um, now what would attack it in the Vortex? What episode of Series 1, um, which was called Father's Day, um, it was revealed that there was some creatures that lived in the Vortex called Time Reapers. And so I thought, you know, maybe while the TARDIS is in the Vortex, it could come under attack by those Reapers. I don't think that was really shown in the episode, but uh, I am guessing that could potentially happen. Because um, they kind of feed on, like, paradoxes and stuff, and the Doctor does cause a fair few uh, time-changing events, probably some paradoxes in there. So maybe the TARDIS will come under attack by Reapers while in flight. So I've kind of added this as a form of, like, uh, in-flight random event, basically. Um, and, yeah, I'm, I've already built it, so I'll show you how it works, actually, real quick. So, uh, it usually, because it's, like, random, and I'll show you how it's randomized in a little bit, um, it's probably going to take a while to start, so I'll probably dematerialize and then just cut to when it actually starts. So, uh, put in our coolant, and yeah, it might be a bit before it actually starts. Let's uh, dematerialize. And we are quote unquote in the vortex right now. I haven't added any sort of uh, time vortex effect. I kind of want to do something like that, like you look out here and it kind of looks all vortexy, but I haven't really made anything like that yet. Um, so yeah, now we just have to wait. Oh no, here goes the attack. So yeah, so there's a message in the chat, there's explosions, which actually do hurt you. Oh, you're not in survival, but uh, you get the point. Make some loud noises and stuff. The attack lasts for about uh, 20 seconds, I think. And uh, yeah, I mean, there we go attack averted, so, but like I said, um, last for 20 seconds, the explosions can harm you, so, yeah, you gotta be pretty careful, uh, it can't actually harm your TARDIS, I thought about adding that in, but, uh, yeah, TARDIS, uh, health and damage, that is probably a subject for a later video, uh, for now, though, I have this system, and, uh, there, <laughs> Um, we can just rematerialize and everything's all good again. So let's see how this is made. Okay, so here's the system, and, uh, behind this door, I don't know, it might surprise you, it might not, but, uh, we don't really have command blocks, we have pigs. <laughs> yes, pigs is the main thing that makes this work. Uh, I've just called them TR attack for time reaper attack. Um, thought about adding one pig, but, uh, yeah, it just took too long for the attacks to happen, so I tried to make them slightly less rare, I guess, in doing that. So let's actually go to the actual command blocks now. Pressure plate that the pigs periodically step on has a um, comparator with a repeater going into this uh, AND gate. <clears throat> and then over here, unconnected to any uh, pressure plate, we have this command block execute if entity addy name equals TARDIS DMAT. And that's always searching, so it's looking for if the TARDIS is dematerialized. And obviously if the pig is stepping on the pressure plate, and if it finds both of those, it'll turn on this 
torch, which will activate all of this stuff. So, uh, the main bulk of the stuff is this. So, this uh, comparator starts up this clock, which kind of goes around and around like that. Um, and, yeah, what the clock does is it actually periodically summons creepers, which are ignited one and fuse zero, meaning basically they'll just instantly explode. Um, and they're positioned actually in such a sense that they are inside of blocks, just so that you don't like momentarily see a creeper, because that would kind of ruin the illusion a little bit. Um, and then it just has this execute add at p run play sound gasp scream blah 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 that just um makes that little uh noise which was kind of meant to sound like an actual like reaper attacking but it sounds more like an alarm so i don't know it could be anything or you could just change it to something else entirely for the sound um and then when it goes like back around it'll also do another explosion in another spot as you saw um and then additionally up here here's something i did effect give tr attack slowness 25 20 true or 2255 true and that basically just gives them slowness level 255 basically just making them completely stop in their tracks when they step on the pressure plate for 20 seconds is the idea and the true just means hide particles you don't really need that it might help with lag though um up here what is this other command block it's just slash say tardis under attack blah 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 you can do whatever you want obviously with that message um and then finally this is for when it turns off it'll obviously the torch will go off and then back on once the uh pig once the slowness runs out and the pig steps off the pressure plate, this torch will turn on and it'll say Time Reaper Attack Averted. So yeah, that's about it. This is actually, I mean, it looks somewhat complex, but it really isn't when you boil down to what it's actually doing. Uh, so yeah, this system, obviously, the Time Reaper's attack can't actually hurt the TARDIS. Um, it really has like zero effect on it. All the armor stands in the... Um, console have uh, invulnerable and um, no gravity so it won't hurt nor move any of these armor stands in here you know other than the player taking a teeny bit of damage but like the damage is actually muffled since the creepers are like technically inside of blocks like this one that's like over here is actually inside the ground a little bit and that kind of muffles the damage so the player does not take very much damage at all like, I had no armor on, and I was still only taking, like, half a heart to one heart of damage per explosion. So, uh, yeah, it doesn't do a lot of damage. I mean, so it isn't really meant to be a massive threat. Basically just, um, you know, it can be a threat if you just kind of stand around <laughs> and don't, like, go away from the exploding areas. Or you could rematerialize the TARDIS to get it out of the vortex quote-unquote, because what you're actually just doing is just uh, stopping that AND gate from being able to turn on. Um, anyway, point is, yeah, if you, um, you'd have to probably just be not paying a lot of attention to really be in any true danger from this. It's just a fun thing, adds a bit of unpredictability to your flight, a bit of uh, realism, and a bit of turbulence to your flight. You could add any other effect you really wanted to, anything else happening, you could make the TARDIS actually, like, blow up a bit, but, uh, probably not very smart, especially with your console, because your, your controls are laid out so specifically. Um, but, uh, yeah, that is basically it for this episode, just adding a bit of, uh, turbulence to your TARDIS flight, uh, which I think I've already said, <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, that's about it for this episode. The uh, Time Reaper attack, random event, and you don't have to call it a Time Reaper attack either. You could just say the TARDIS is crashing. <laughs> um, you could say it's like hit something and it's crashing. I don't know. Uh, it could be anything. It doesn't have to be Reapers, but uh, yeah, that is all. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Be sure to keep uh, giving me more 
suggestions on that uh, video where I asked for suggestions for more features and uh, yeah I will see what I can get implemented into this TARDIS in the future and uh, yeah as of now the map uh, progress on releasing it as a map it is still in development that uh, idea so uh, yeah look out for that though because it's coming at some point <laughs> But uh, yeah, that is all. I have been Tebow2. Be sure to subscribe and follow my Instagram, Tebow2YT. Goodbye.